What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Tame Mystical Mermaid. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope all is well out there, you guys. I'm sending you so much love. Thank you for tuning back in. Thank you for your patience. I especially want to say a big, 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 well, give a big, big thank you to my clients, those of you who have just had so much patience with me and support during these times. Um, I'm going through a lot, you guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, so I could use some prayers. So please send your girl some prayers. Um, there's a lot going on in my world. I'm not quite ready to um, share exactly because I'm praying for the best. I'm wishing for the best and um, I'm hoping for the best. So I just want to like ask for prayers. Okay, you guys. So um, and that's hard sometimes because I'm so I'm so used to being the one on the um, on the end of that, like I'm used to being the one who someone says, hey, Tay, can you pray for me? Can you lift me up? Can you send me some good, um, good in, in encouraging, healing energy? And at this time, you guys, I'm asking for it. So I'm on the other end this time. I'm asking for prayers, healing energy, and um, protection and, and miracles. So please send you girls some love. I'm sending you guys some love. So speaking of miracles, <laughs> speaking of blessings, this is going to be a pick a card reading. We only, we're only going to have two options today on what blessings are coming your way. Okay. I'm going to start doing these more often because I filled out, we could all use some encouragement, especially just in the times that we're in, um, in this world. So I'm going to start doing more of these and I'm going to use this specific deck and I'm going to do different angel numbers. So if you feel like you've been seeing certain angel numbers, I highly suggest tuning in, tuning in to those pick a cards. Be on the lookout because I'll be posting more like these. Okay. If the message is repeated, then you know the message is definitely for you. All right. So option one, we have, I am in the flow with 777. Your purpose flows from within you, okay? Your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is a part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. Option two, I am abundant, 888. As you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance, all right? All right, you guys, so we have option one, option two. Um, I wanna give you guys a heads up. I'm still gaining like more energy, so um, please be patient um, um, with me as my energy is slowly built. I haven't done a reading in a, in a while, so, um, this is going to be my first reading in a, in a long time, so bear with me, okay? Um, I'm also going to be posting some old videos of mine that I had already pre-recorded. Um, I'm going to be posting those very soon, but this one, you guys see this video. This is live time on Easter. I am filming this. Um, so yeah, this is a timeless reading though, but I am letting you guys know when I'm filming this, okay? So this is a fresh video. I want to push this one out before the old ones just to give you guys an update and just to ask for prayers and love okay i want to apologize if you guys hear coughing in the background that could be my baby joe um joe has a heart murmur like his siblings and so sometimes he coughs okay so i may have to pause the video or you might hear me i'm telling him to just calm down and check on him okay you may also hear a washing machine and a dryer in the background I'm washing clothes for work for tomorrow and um, washing some bedding. So I do apologize if you hear noise, but kind of have to like balance and multitask. All right. So that's what's going on, you guys. Let's get started. Option one, 777. Option two, 888. I am open for personal readings. If you guys would like a personal reading with me, just email me at mysticalmermaidlight at gmail.com. I also want to put out the disclaimer that I asked that. You guys have patience with me and give me time to do your readings as I love to do readings in order and I love to do readings um, like when I properly cleanse. Does that make sense? So I don't like to rush readings back to back because I feel like that's unfair to each of my clients. I feel that 
You should take your time, cleanse your energy, be present with that specific reading and that specific client that you're working um, working on a reading for. Um, so I'm not a machine. I'm not the type of person who's going to be like, okay, I got five readings. Let me just knock them all out. No. I'm the type of person who's like, okay, let me pray and meditate before I do your reading. Let me cleanse before I do your reading. What cards am I feeling called to for your specific reading? Um, so I just want you guys to keep that in mind that I love to take my time with reading so that I can make sure that they're detailed. So I make sure that you guys, you know, get everything that you're supposed to be receiving, okay? I want to make sure I'm a clear vest on a clear channel for you guys in your reading. So thank you to those who understand the energy process and um, who send kind messages stating, hey, Tay, I understand. Take your time. Um, I appreciate that because it just makes it easier, smooth, um, process when um, everyone's understanding of time okay it's an energy transfer and it's energy work and to rush it is just it's not the best thing okay so I care about the quality of readings not the quantity I care about the quality all right you guys option one option two let's get started Option one, 777. Seven, seven. Let's see what's going on. What blessings? Dear God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, please use me as a divine channel for the most purest, holy, love, and light only. I said Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Metatron, and Sandophon, Archangel Seraphim, be present in this reading, Holy Spirit. I call upon the Seraphim and Cherubim angels to be present as well. In Jesus' name I pray as well. Oh, oh, I just heard. And the galactic beings of love and light as well be present. The council of light be here as, as well. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. So you guys got a little extra support there. Let's see what's going on. Some of you are going to receive a blessing from an ascended master. A guide. You're going to receive teachings. Mm. If you're quiet enough, if you listen, if you can spend some time in solitude if you could do this consistently, if you guys could spend time in solitude, quietly meditating and praying, you guys will receive some type of visitation or message from a specific ascend ascended master. Ooh, master, a guide. So they're saying there's an ascended master that's a guide to you at this time that wants to help you with this journey, this poor... I just heard this portion. So this part of your life that you're in, this part of your journey, there's a specific ascended master. I'm hearing you guys have three guides. You have an ascended master who could be acting as a spirit guide, but you also have an ancestor. I'm getting three surrounding you right now. There could be more. There's definitely more actually, but they're, the three are the only ones that they're sharing, like showing me right now. So there's a specific ancestor of yours, ascendant master, and a spirit guide. But they're also saying that this ascendant master is acting as a guide for you. Okay, let's see. What blessings are coming to option one, Holy Spirit? Those who chose 777. It's a lot of, oh, well, seven's a spiritual number, you guys. It, it talks about being in alignment. I am in the flow. I'm in alignment. So you guys have connected, you guys have reached a certain consciousness. The frequency that you're on has aligned with a certain lesson, okay? Let's see what's going on. Lessons aren't bad. We're here to learn. Let's see what's going on. Gaia, that's where you need to be spending your time. This is what you need to be connecting to, is Mother Earth. Mother Earth. Look at me. I'm hearing some of you may have been feeling called to watch movies that have like a lot of like um, like earth backgrounds or anything that ha represents earth. I'm seeing Moana, you know how she's like she's covered in grass and, and greenery. She is earth, right? Um, well, the goddess in Moana, I can't remember her name. But anyways, so it's making me think of that. It, it also makes me think of Grandmother Willow. It's making me think of Gaia, Earth, the connection between all. I just heard waking Earth up. So I am in the flow. Being in the flow with Gaia. Being in the flow with the seasons changing. Being in the flow, the ebb and flow of life of Earth. The patterns of Earth. There's, there's a pattern of Earth. There's a pattern of animals. There's 
this cycle that we all move by and it's not by this this calendar we go by no and time is an illusion as well but there's this cycle this ebb and flow that we all kind of go by and it's because of earth there's this natural cycle and so you guys are being called to connect more with the natural cycles the natural ebb and flow of life instead of being resistant to change be more adaptable be more fluid be fluid like water so you guys are being called to connect with the elements of water fire air and earth ether as well just connecting with i just heard the subtle realms interesting connecting with nature grounding your energy root chakra work understanding the connection of all so you guys are going to be required to get fresh air you could start feeling called to go for walks like out in nature or just go some of you guys may feel called to go to the beach go to um go hiking like you're going to feel more drawn to nature spending time near trees connecting more with animals there's a, a reason behind this so go back to your natural state and connect with Gaia. A lot of you are also going to be called to learn about the moon's cycles in deeper detail, okay? Not just, oh, we're having a new moon or full moon. Full moon. You're going to be called to connect more with how things align with the cycles of the moon. Especially if you're, you know, in a, in a feminine body in this time frame, in this, in this lifetime, you could feel very much called to look at how your 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 menstrual cycle, your moon cycle affects um, the actual moon cycle. Well, not how it's affected by the moon cycle. Okay, so there's that. Some of you could also um, end up learning more about astronomy and astrology. Okay, I see there there being a link, some type of connection link between um, 3D and 5D. Um, but I see you guys learning about the planets, learning about um, how things are aligned. I just heard how the stars are aligned. So this could even go as far as you guys, you know, learning more about, you know, maybe preserving the earth, cleaning up the earth, um, climate change, cleaning up the ocean, ocean preservation, you know, the, you know, animals, how, you know, donating to animals, volunteering at animal shelters, if you guys start feeling called to do things like this, you know, maybe even as simple as going and cleaning up the beach, you know, joining some type of volunteer um, group or creating your own, these little things are happening for a reason, okay? And I'm hearing when you are a blessing to others, that's when you're even more receptive to receiving blessings. It's the energy exchange. And not be, you're not doing things because it's like, okay, I do this and now I'm going to receive a blessing. That's not why we do things. We do things from the purity of our heart, okay? And so they're saying, make sure your heart is pure and your intentions are pure because God sees all, God knows all, and earth feels all, okay? So with that being said, in what ways can you help someone else? This could be as simple as donating um, some of your own resources, donating some of your own belongings to help others, recycling, because when we donate what we have, to help others, that's a form of recycling as well. As well as looking at what you have and realizing I really don't need more, okay? So that's coming through. I just, I keep hearing sustainability, okay? Moderation, these are words I'm hearing. Sustainability, moderation, um, grounding, fresh air, natural light. Um, I, I keep getting animals. Help, like helping others. And, and I'm, I'm hearing in due time for some reason. I just heard in due time. So when you help others, that help comes back to you. Okay. Um, I see you guys donating some type of something to help others. Okay. It could be as simple as you feeling called to go throughout your closet. And looking at what you really don't use or what you really don't wear. And giving it to someone who's less fortunate. Or giving it to, um, you know, to someone who may need it. Okay. Um, I see that, but connecting with earth, um, you're going to reach a high frequency where you'll realize mother nature, not only will you be going to mother nature, but mother nature comes to you. 
And so what that may mean is that you notice a bee is coming up to you. You notice a bird comes up to you or an animal comes up to you. These are signs from Gaia that she sees you and she hears you. Um, and believe it or not, all creatures, we're all connected, right? All beings are connected. You are connected to every single living being that's living thing and being that, are, that is here. So, and we, we understand each other. So some people can hear and hear from plants, can speak to and hear from plants, hear from trees, hear from bees, hear from birds. So it's calling you back to nature. Some of you shaman, um, shamanism as well. Some of you could be learning about herbs or you're being called to learn more about holistic healing and natural remedies. Um, I just heard homestead, um, buying from local farmers, buying from local, um, like, you know, I'm here community based. Yeah, it's this cycle. They keep talking about this cycle of help, you know, um, getting back to the root. They keep hearing, they keep hearing, do you hear that? So some of you guys are going to keep hearing some, some um, similar messages, okay? It's like you're going to be like, wow, I just heard this in another reading. I just heard this over here from this person. I'm seeing a lot of like replanting things, re repotting things. I see gardens. I see farms. I see, you know, just things being done locally and in communities. This is the energy that's coming here. So... If you feel called to go to your local farmer's market, do that. If you feel called to go to your local, um, is it a garden house? Do that. If you feel called to, you know, see what's going on in your, your community or in your neighborhood, do those things, okay? So that's what we have here, all right? We also have cleanse. So you may feel called to cleanse your space with some natural herbs. Look at the moon. We have a full moon back here. So a cleanse of energy what's the blessing you have this fresh energy that's hitting you um you're aligning to gaia you're aligning to the flow the natural flows of life so this is very important um this is how things manifest for us so let's see what else i'm hearing that some of you guys need to be working with aromatherapy as well especially if you guys have been dealing with stress or anxiety um, or any health issues, I'm hearing that spending time in nature will help you guys. Look, we have connect with crystals. Crystals are an earth element. So there are certain crystals that could work, um, that could help you guys. And this is 11. So working with the earth element, Gaia, working with natural stones and minerals, you know, you know, that you can find in the earth. Okay. Specifically raw crystals would really help you guys. Okay raw crystals okay all right i see you guys spending a lot of time doing like earthy um earthy things it's giving taurus virgo capricorn you don't have to be those signs but i'm seeing a lot of like earth element energy here um spending time in nature but also cleansing your own physical like space you know she's taking in the vibe she just i'm guessing when i see this card i'm guessing she clean she cleansed her space you know, she may have lit a candle. She's got her little aromatherapy and her candles and her, her crystals here. See, connect with crystals. And then I'm looking at the purple that's in these cards too. So the color purple could be, um, not the movie, but the, um, the actual color purple could be significant because her hair is purple. So the crown chakra, we have the root chakra and the crown chakra, the balance of the fifth dimension and the third dimension is what I'm hearing, okay? And then we have Sweet Treat, 50. So look at how her eyes are closed. Everyone's eyes are closed here. And all these cards, it's like just soaking. I just heard Soak Up the Sun by um, Cheryl Crow. But it's very much I'm present, you know? When you're smelling baked goods, you're, you're present. You're like, oh my God, that smells good. You're present. When you hear your favorite song, you're present. When you feel the breeze touch your skin, you're present. <laughs> Making me think of Pocahontas once again. So, Colors of the Wind, that could be a song for someone. So, Soak Up the Sun, Colors of the Wind. This is very powerful. I just heard your potential is infinite. Your potential is infinite. So, 
see what else. What blessings are coming to option one, Holy Spirit? Karmic path. Oh, eight. Mm -hmm. So there's some lessons that are unfolding for you guys. Everything is happening as it should be. We have lucky at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> you guys have good luck coming your way. Wow. You have lucky karmic path. So the divine is saying to you guys that no matter what lesson pops up in life, because we're all here, we're, we're spiritual beings in physical this physical earthly vessel to experience earth and experience different lessons, right? To help our souls grow. Okay. Because you are beyond who you are in this current lifetime. And what they're saying is you're being granted ease and grace and peace through these lessons and through this journey. Okay. They're also letting you know that whatever it is that you're going through right now, is a part of your soul contract. So this space and time, whatever it is, wherever you are, this was assigned to you. You you agreed on, <laughs> on this. You checked the box off like, yep, it's fine that I go through that lesson. It's fine that I worked at that place. It's fine that I'm with that person or meeting these people. It's fine that I am where I am right now. Okay? So this has to do with your journey. Okay? It's not... It's not as simple as, oh, it's this outward journey that I'm on. Where shall I go next? No, it's the inward journey of where you are emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, okay? Connect connect with nature. Connect with your body. Some of you are needing to really take better care of your body. Um, I'm actually seeing someone, like, massaging their own body, Um and looking at themselves in the mirror and saying self-love affirmations over themselves. So connecting with your body is also going to um, create break breakthroughs for you, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what blessings are coming to option one? So connecting with crystals, connecting with nature, nature connecting with you. We have, because you're not separate from nature, breathe. Inhale, exhale, create space within, see? Everyone's eyes are closed. Everyone is in this meditative um, energy. This is how you're going to connect, you guys. This is how you are going to receive your blessings. This is They're more like giving you how you will receive your blessings. Because they're saying you're going to have luck. They're saying that things are going to naturally flow. You just need to stay positive and stay present. Present is your main message. With this being said, with, oh, wow, they're giving me a lot. I just heard naturally, naturally, okay, without you guys having to act too much, there's a balance between, you know, do the work and then, you know, God meets you halfway. I feel like there's certain things that are just going to kind of like, I, I, I know this is going to sound funny, but just fall into your lap. I don't know how. No, I do know how. I don't know why I said that. It's because of your frequency. That's how. Your frequency shifts. And because of that, things start to naturally align for you. Things start to kind of bump into you. It, it's interesting. You're walking down the street and you're, you know, maybe two weeks before you were wondering, man, where's my blessings? You know, where where's the good in the world? And then all of a sudden you're walking down the street two weeks later and there's money on the ground, you know, and or someone pays for your coffee, you know, someone holds the door open for you and tells you that your energy is beautiful. You know, it's random little things. All of a sudden you get a call back from, you know, that this job you wanted to, you know, you you sent your, re your resume to. Like, there's different things like that. You're in line and you meet somebody that you're really attracted to. Um, you're, you know, you're going for a walk and you end up meeting someone who you end up becoming close friends with. Random things just aligning for you. Opportunities coming out of the way. When I see this connect with crystals, it's like I'm hearing you'll find hidden treasures. Like hidden treasures within nature. At the bottom, you have create. Nurture your creative energy. So your guys are asking you to ground 
simply focus on the root chakra and the crown chakra. Connecting to earth, connecting to, to God, source, the universe. Okay? Focus on that. Spend time in, in meditation because she's breathing. She's doing meditation work. She's creating space within. She's going on her inward journey because truly the inward journey affects the outward journey. Okay? The domino effect starts from within, not outwardly. Okay? So they're saying that the more you spend time in meditation, especially if you can do this in nature safely, the more you spend time on your inner world, your outer world is extremely affected by this okay so i'm hearing focusing on simplifying that's what's going to really bring in a lot of blessings for you as well as your blessing itself could be simplicity having those slow mornings having those slow days where you can just really breathe in nature spend time with you know fur babies or you know just really take your time and not worry about okay i gotta do this i have to take care of this and do that it's like just the slowness, the luxury of slowness is what I'm getting. The luxury of slowness, the luxury of connecting with earth. You guys are going to have more time to create, whether this is like anything from writing to painting, singing, dancing, drawing, rapping, whatever it is that you do as a hobby, you're going to have more time to, to do this, okay? They're saying that. They're saying you're going to make more time for yourself to do these things, this will be a lucky pursuit, especially if some of you have been wanting to make this a main business, if you've been wanting to make this a career, um, any, I, I just heard entrepreneurial energy coming through will be highly um, successful during this time frame. Some of you guys could be baker, um, oh, bakers, interesting. Some of you guys could cook. Um, that would be good. Some of you guys might be wanting to learn how to bake more things. This would be a good time to do these things, okay? All right. Let's see what else we have. What blessings are coming forth for option one, Holy Spirit? Freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. So freedom. That's what you're being blessed with is freedom. And that to me is what I was saying earlier with the, you know, the luxury slowness. You guys being able to kind of just do things at your own time. Um, slow, like slow and steady wins the race is what I'm hearing. So this meditation connecting with Gaia is going to really align a lot for you. But I'm hearing that you're going to find that within these moments that you have more time within your day. It's like you set the pace already. So I see you guys creating a very um, strong practice for yourselves in the morning and at night. Um, because I'm looking at this, this looks like the morning she's out in nature. And this looks like at night she even has her routine. So, wow, and I accidentally moved. I, whoa. Look at that sanctuary. I accidentally moved this card and it says chanting. What's crazy is this deep breath here. Same message as this card. You have some of the same messages coming out. Let's move this over. We have chanting. So some of you may feel called to do some yoga. Um, you may end up connecting with someone who teaches yoga or coming across like some type of deal where you can take yoga classes reading i'm getting i'm telling you guys this is like slowing down you guys are getting all the slow slow energy like okay i get to do some chanting I, I get to meditate and do some deep breathing i get to read a little bit so the blessings that are coming in for you guys is slowness and taking your time and nurturing yourself and treating yourself but For a lot of you, there's going to be a huge break for you, breakthrough for you spiritually. So if you feel called to do some breath work, um, do some chanting work, do some yoga, you're going to have some type of insight that's going to come through from you guys doing that. Seriously. Okay, I just heard mala beads. Some of you guys could have mala beads that you might want to work with, but something's going to, there's going to be some sort of breakthrough. And I am in the flow, This the, the breath work. The breathing, the chanting, um, it all aligns with that. Even the yoga, it all aligns with this flow. 
Now notice you had the reading, right? And then look at her. I actually knocked this over. She's at home. You know, she's letting that fresh light come in. You have nature in the background. What's interesting is look at this in the background. So you have the mountains, the valleys, right? So she's here with her little fur baby and her crystals and her little teacup and her salt lamp and her book. And she's present. That's the energy that I'm, I'm getting you guys are being called to be in, is to be present. And because of you guys have established, look, God, Source, Universe, I'm trying to be present. I, I am focusing on the here and now. The divine starts to bless you and align you with more opportunities to be in the here and now. So, for example, if you feel like you've been working a lot or if you feel like you've been multitasking, school or just responsibilities... Whatever it is, if you feel like you just need more time for yourself, you're going to receive that. That's a blessing that's coming through. You're receiving more time to just slow down and enjoy life, the luxuries of life, more solitude. You're going to receive those moments where you, where you can just breathe and be comfortable. I'm getting this cozy life. I just heard cozy by Beyonce. Okay, that could be for someone. And we have wisdom. See your adversaries. Ah, See your adversaries as opportunities. I don't know why I say adversaries. Okay, see your adversaries as opportunities to expand your spiritual light. So once again, we talked about the lessons, right? And we now we have wisdom. And then earlier, we talked about some sort of ascendant master that's trying to help you guys along this path. So I'm actually quite curious to see if anything comes out about this. I mean, I kind of didn't want to do, do this because I don't want to... I don't want a card to come out and you think, oh, it's just that Ascendant Master. It can be any Ascendant Master that you guys have on your mind right now. Um, let's see. Green Tara. All right. So we have Green Tara coming out for Supreme Protection. Okay. You are protected. Courts are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. Look at all the earth, earthy energy here. So... I feel that a lot of you guys, another blessing, obviously, with this card is going to be protection. So, protection along your journey. Courts are being cut. You're being freed, cleansed. Literally, this card says cleansed. So, you guys are being cleansed. You know, you're receiving um, a breakthrough, basically. So, the blessing is you guys are going to be receiving a cleanse. You may feel called to actually move things around in your home, in your space, cleanse, donate. Um, spiritually cleanse. That's because cords are being cut. So some of you guys can have a strong connection with Archangel Michael. Okay, so Archangel Michael, Green Tara. I'm also hearing Ganesha for some of you guys. Could be guides. Um, I'm just saying those just because maybe someone's like, if she says this, that I know it's like my sign. But you are protected, cords are being cut, movie on limitations. So there's a lot of blessings here. Like a lot of divine support and help coming through for you guys. Um, wisdom being given to you. I want to see if we can get one more. Holy Spirit, one more for option one. Rumi. So books. Something with books, you guys. Maybe writing could be for someone. Maybe you need to do that. It could be a blessing within a book. Okay. Mystical knowing. Breaking boundaries. See, I said breakthrough. Personal experiences of God. See, breath, chanting, nature, Gaia. Personal experiences with God. That's interesting. Seven, 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 seven days. Get it? Genesis. And then we have create. Create the world. Seven days. Ah, Genesis. Earth. Ah, created the earth within seven days. Genesis. Chanting, breathing. Connecting with earth, you are protected. You guys, wisdom coming through. The book of Genesis, it's like this is like a treasure hunt. It's like they're they're leading you to different things, but as above, so below, but I'm hearing I am that I am. God is the infinite creator of all. So you guys are tapping into creation energy, understanding. Con understanding the connection between all things, but understanding the creator. You guys are connecting with God, source, the alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. This is a powerful reading. 
If you guys had tarot right now, it'd probably be the Hierophant out here. So can, we have Rumi out here with mystical knowing, breaking boundaries, personal experiences of God. So you guys are really tapping in. And I do mean tap, tap, tap in. You guys are tapping into some really higher power spiritual knowledge. And you may not even be allowed to share this with people. So, the wall cool, divine mission, enlightened action, make choices from your, the heart. Divine mission, you're understanding more of your purpose and why you're here in this current lifetime. Very powerful, you guys. Very much in sync with, with the very existence of everything, okay? So, 7-7, seven, seven, your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. That is this reading. You guys are having this huge breakthrough. It's a very peaceful and calm um, breakthrough. I love this. There's wisdom being given to you. You're receiving freedom. Look at Saturn trying to come out again. G G G. Okay, so let's see. With the owl, there's the wisdom again. It says, feel restricted, experience struggle, learn hard work and patience. I feel like this is what you guys have worked through. See, feeling restricted, we have freedom. That's interesting. Experiencing struggle, but yet we have ease, grace, and I am in the flow. Learn hard work and patience. So you guys are being called to slow down. You guys have successfully learned Saturn's lessons. That's what I just heard. Oh my God, you're going to know if you've done this work. If you felt restricted, restriction, if you've been, if the word surrender has been coming up a lot for you, that is this energy. It's like you've had to learn how to, re how to release and how to let go. If you've heard the term let go so many times, if you've heard the term, the word release, the word surrender, you've been having breakthroughs. You've been learning these hard lessons You've made the decision that, you know what, I'm going to be present. I am going to, you know, surrender and let go and release and just be. This is what's taking you to the next level. So you guys have overcome this, Saturn. At the bottom, you have fire. And it says confidence, optimism, passion, bravery. This is what's next. This is what's next, this this action, this creative energy that you're going to get. This inspiration is what's coming next, okay? Not quite here yet, but this is an, one of your next blessings. It's pretty powerful that they already told you what your next blessing is after this blessing that's coming in. Yeah, so you're gonna, you guys are going to get more of a boost and spark of energy. You may even feel more energized um, soon, okay? But you're learning these lessons with ease and grace. And if something pops up along your path that feels difficult, right? I just heard we can do hard things, that quote, okay? But they're saying handle it with, in this energy. There are all these cards, they align. They're telling you how to handle, you know, tough, tough, tough times in life. They're, you're, they're telling you how to handle hard lessons, okay? And that could be different for everyone. So they're saying that, you have the key. I just heard, I, I got the key, the key, the key. You, yeah, that song, what is it? I got the key, the key, the key. I got the, there's that. But I'm also hearing, you, you, you are the key to the kingdom. Key to the kingdom. Yeah. Okay. So, that is what I have for you, option one. If you like this reading, please feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. But I am moving on to option two. Just when you guys thought it was over, I'm putting cards back up for your your pal option one. And you have two cards that say the same thing. Gaia, Earth Connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth. Stay grounded with the flower of life in the background. Seed of life, flower of life. It's in your hands. All right, for those of you who chose option two 888 i am abundant as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance i am abundant now i want to mention that you guys might get a lot of signs and synchronicities 
within like, um, I'm hearing music first and that randomly just heard like billboards. Like you could be um, walk, taking a walk or driving or on your bike and then you'll look up and you see a billboard that might have a meaning. So for someone out there who's recently seen a, bill, a billboard and it matched something that they had saw prior, like maybe something on a tweet or something um, while you're at a store, like if it aligned, the universe is saying yes, that was meant for you. Don't second guess it. Because I'm getting like, I'm getting like the joke. It's kind of like people have made memes off of this before, uh, where it's like you need a more sign, you need a signier sign. It's like the universe is giving you several signs, but you're like, I need a one that's even more signier than that. <laughs> so it's like the universe is like, look, we're throwing a bunch of signs at you. So you guys are gonna be receiving a lot of synchronicities, okay? But for some reason, the song um, "Golden" by Harry Styles randomly played on my phone and. The song that followed was just like a star, like a star by Corinne Bailey Ray. And so I feel like there's something with that. So I just want to leave that there for you guys, okay? So that could be meaningful for someone. All right. Holy Spirit, what blessings are coming to option two? So for you guys, I'm hoping they, you know, we're just going to see how this plays out because I'm not going to say hope. We're just going to see how this plays out because for option one, they gave them more of like tools on how to reach the blessing. And they gave them the blessing, but they gave more of the tools of how to reach the blessing, okay? So I I feel like both are important. So let's see how this one plays out. Holy Spirit, dear God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, please use me as divine channel for the most pure, holy, love, and light only. I ask that Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Sandifon, and Archangel Metatron, as well as Archangel Seraphim be present in this reading. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, Holy Spirit, Seraphim, Cherubim, Angels, with what? The archangels for the highest good only. What blessings are from my option two? Silence. She's got keys. <laughs> um, I briefly mentioned this in option one, but this one feels a little bit different. But if you felt called to both options, watch both. Um, this makes me think of the song. Um, I, re I mentioned option one. I got the key, the key, the key. But you guys are more of like, you are the key to the kingdom. Um, that's from Black is King. Okay. You are the keys to the kingdom. Yeah. And then we have meditate. So meditation is going to be key for you guys. Meditation and silence. Meditation and silence. But you guys need, really need to listen to the song, You Are the Keys to the Kingdom. Because I keep hearing her say, I think she says, the earth and the moon, the earth and the sun or the earth and the moon bow before you or something like that. And then there's a mention of a tree in the song. So I'm telling you guys, what, um, well, you may feel called to watch Black is, you know, well, Lion King movie or the Beyonce Black is King kind of album. But I am getting um, that song. You are the keys to the kingdom. Um, hmm. Okay. Let's see what blessings are coming to option. I'm here radiance. Some of you guys could end up just glowing, having some type of glow to you. And it could be because of your meditation practice. Maybe you're, you've been spending more time just focusing on going within, maybe spending more time in nature. Maybe you have a little glow to you because you've been spending time in nature. Because radiance now makes sense why I got golden by Harry Styles. So there could be something golden about you. Maybe some of you guys have a tan or there's something glowing. Something about your aura, your energy is going to be glowing. So some people may find that they're drawn to you. You may not even understand why people are like coming up to you. Um, why people, you know, are randomly speaking to you or asking you for help. There's something about your energy, your aura is going to be glowing. Like there's a, it's radiating. There's, you're radiant. That's it. You're radiant. There's a radiance about you, but there's an energy that's being felt. I'm hearing like a magnitude. Like there's a, a big shift in your aura and your energy. And we're talking about things that are unseen. So your inner, we all feel energy. Okay, every single living being thing feels energy. Okay, you are felt before you are seen, and because of this, people are able to feel you from a huge distance. It's like they can feel the energy 
shift in a room when you come in. And that's always a powerful, you know, and beautiful thing to have, especially if the energy shifts for good, okay? All right, so spending time in nature. Yeah, so basically the song says, see how the sun and the moon bow, be bow for you? Mm. But then she says, but you won't open your eyes. That's interesting. Now I want to hear the part where it says tree. He says, just like the tree, just like the Chinese bamboo tree. See eyes wide. See the greatness inside of you that lies within. Yeah. Whenever, listen, you know you're not going to stay down for long. Whenever in doubt and alone, just remember that the king in the kingdom. So remember, remember that all is well. That's what they're saying. You won't be down for long. All right. Well, blessings are coming to option two. No matter what it is you're going through, you have divine help. And I just heard there's divine intervention. Yeah, and time is on your side. But look, we have the moon and the, the sun. This is interesting because it says, oh, the sun and the moon bow for you. So time is an illusion, right? Because that's how we go by time, right? We go by time because of the sun and the moon. But in the song, it says the sun and the moon bow for you. But you won't open your eyes. So you need to open your eyes. Things are working out in your favor. There's, unfor there's unforeseen sources and help. <laughs> that's what I just heard randomly. And they, there's a giggle behind that. So little do you know. Everything's playing out in your favor. Things are happening according to divine timing. You may be trying to figure out, okay, why, think, why aren't things going along my timing? Like, you may even feel like you're running out of time. You may feel like, oh my God, I gotta hurry up. I gotta hurry up and do this. People could be mentioning things about time to you. Like, there could be people saying, hey, crunch time. Or, hey, we're running out of time. Or, hey, time is speeding up. There's something about time. So maybe... Some of you may even have a fear of time, but they're saying that time is an illusion. Time is an illusion in the universe, God's source. When you really tune in, if you are, if you truly have a connection with God, a relationship with God, source, God can slow down man's time, okay? Because it, it's it's a matrix construct, like. God can slow down or speed up time. You need to know that. Because beyond this earth, time is an illusion. All right. What blessings are coming to option two? Holy Spirit. Oh, what is this one? Dream journal. It says... Are you sleeping? So there could be something that happens in your dreams. You could be receiving some type of vision or um, some something's going to come through in your meditations and your sleep. Sleep and meditation. Now look, connect with your ancestors. 14. This is a five, but you guys also had a five. Look, you have mirrored numbers. 14 and 41. You guys want to look up mirrored numbers, what that means for you, 14 and 41. Look up 14, 41, which is a 5. So 5 plus 5 is 10. So you have a change that brings it, that comes in, and then you have a completion of a cycle. So numbers are really big for you guys. You're going to start seeing a lot of numbers. But I'm looking at that, once again, the ancestors are telling you, you are the key to the kingdom. Wow, that's that's a message... Lion King could be important for you guys, but you are the keys to the kingdom. Some of you guys could be worried about your purpose, or you could be actually worried about a physical thing. Maybe you guys are wanting a home. Maybe you're worried about your, your security or your foundation. It could be um, over a property. It could be whether it could be over a current property that you could have some type of worry over. Or if you're trying to get a property, if you're trying to find um, somewhere to stay or, or somewhere to live, um, if you have like some type of goal that you're trying to establish in regards to 
home foundation land property um this could be what they're trying to help you with this could be the blessing that you're receiving help in that in this matter they could be giving you messages in regard to this um and your meditations and your sleep so make sure you keep a, a dream journal make sure you record your dreams even if you're like oh, i'll remember as soon as you come to write it down you know or type it in on your phone at least okay but there's something about keys opening new doors for you um yeah i'm hearing that that saying old keys won't open new doors very interesting i randomly just heard feng shui for someone new energy i just heard big you know you got big big energy i i don't even listen to um listen to that song that much but there's something to that yeah the song in keys to the kingdom though says tick tock see there goes the time tick tock pretty baby you can get it back don't you waste it to grow from your past gotta face it oh yeah yeah you can get it back don't you waste it to grow from your past gotta face it oh you are the remedy don't know what's inside but you're the key to the kingdom you're the key to the kingdom oh so believe even if you can't see i'll never leave because you're the key to the kingdom you guys have ancestors even if you can't see i'll never leave because you are the key to the kingdom connects with your ancestors your ancestors are telling you that they're near they're near you they're by your side they're helping you with whatever it is that you guys are you know trying to accomplish whatever you're going through right now or whatever you're trying to accomplish they're with you they're what they watch over you while you sleep they watch over your home they watch you in your meditations so they're saying it's time for you to reclaim your power they're saying it's time for you to reclaim your abundance it's your birthright. Abundance is your birthright. That's what I just heard. Abundance is your birthright. So there's something about your ancestors helping with some type of legacy, abundance, prosperity. Like they're helping you with um, possibly even a, like land or property. Or if you're trying to get a property or keep a property or establish something within your the home life, security, there's that. It's like they're trying to give you keys. Um, keys of knowledge keys of wisdom um but they're blessing these keys of yours okay they're blessing it that might i know this might sound woo woo but if you're trying to like if you're trying to protect your your home apartment condo wherever it is you live if you're trying to protect it or bless it in some sort of way you might feel called to anoint take some like holy oil um and pray and anoint your keys and maybe anoint your doors you may feel called maybe that's why i got feng shui earlier because you may feel called to cleanse your space and anoint your home anoint your car you know but i'm getting that you guys want to be gifted some type of key and this could be spiritually and physically so being given a key all right being given a key there we go now let's see what else because they're, now they're talking about this big energy this song big big energy um i just keep hearing you know you got big big energy that's what i keep hearing it's that's i think it's by mulatto you got you know you got big big energy mm -hmm. um you guys i don't um not sure why yet i'm waiting for them to give me more information on why i'm seeing this but i'm seeing the movie um actually that song is on the soundtrack of that of that film so you may feel called to watch this i know it's gonna sound silly what is the movie with sandra bullock and channing tatum the lost event wait not adventures lost city of z lost city of something lost city that's interesting you guys could be learning about lost cities um maybe atlantis lemuria could be coming up for you this could be from your ancestors not just your your earthly ancestors not just like your your um your current bloodline but this could also be help from ancestors that you had in other lifetimes and other dimensions and other planets so you guys have help from 
I'm hearing from those that once called you theirs. That's an interesting way of saying it. You have help from those that once called you theirs. They still, you are still a part of them. Okay, interesting. And you are still a part of them and they're sending you love. You're, you're gonna be receiving a lot of downloads, you guys. So please write this down. I feel like you guys could be really focused because I am abundant. This is giving me earthy realm, matrix, 3D. You guys could be very focused on an earthly thing or material or goal or I keep hearing sustaining something, working on something. Um, it could even be your career. For some of you, I keep getting that maybe it's a car. Some of you guys might get keys to a new car or um, you something about getting your car. Like you might get the amount of money to f fix your car. There's something about getting what you need in regards to something monetary like a car, a home, um, something like that. For some of you, this could even be a raise in a career where they give you a key of some sort. But no, but I'm getting car or home, really. So there's a blessing within your, your current space. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, you need to act as if you've already manifested it. You need to just start saying, you know... Thanks in advance. You need to just start speaking gratitude. Thank you, God. Thank you, Source. Thank you, angels and ancestors for my highest good. Thank you for, the, you know, sustaining me. Thank you for my new car. Thank you for fixing my car. Thank you for my my home. Thank you for my house. Thank you for helping me um, qualify for this home. Thank you for helping me, um, you know, pay my mortgage. Thank you for helping me pay my rent. Thank you for helping me pay off my house. Thank you for helping me with my home matters, le home legality matters. Thank you for helping me get the, the apartment I want. Thank you for getting, helping me get the condo I wanted. Help me, thank you God, you know, for helping me invest in properties. Whatever it is, you guys just start thanking in advance. Thank you God for, you know, um, helping me to bring feng shui into this house. Thank you for helping me to have that backyard that I love. Whatever it is, you guys need to start seeing it visually in your mind and also being in gratitude for it. So there could be some law of attraction work you guys are going to be working on. Um, really connecting to your roots and that power that you already have within you. Okay, let's see. What blessings are coming to option two, Holy Spirit? Look at that. You got two trying to come out. Dream, build castles in the sky. That's this. There's something about your dreams. So this could even be a sign that your dreams are coming true. Something you guys have been daydreaming about dreaming um, for. Because this makes me think of Disney. The Disney castle. So there's some type of dream. Um, I, I don't know why I just heard. You make my dream come true. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. What I want. Something. Isn't that um, Hall and Oates? I could be wrong. Is it John Hall and Oates? I don't know. I can't remember. But I'm hearing. Um, when you wish upon a star. <laughs> Makes no difference who you are. <laughs> Anything your heart desires will come to you. That old school Disney song they used to play. Where are you going? Disneyland. So some of you guys could actually be going to Disney World or Disneyland. Anyways, um, dream. Think about it. Most of their, the foundation of that is built on dreams. Like Walt Disney and his dream, this this idea he had, right? It all starts with an idea. It all starts with, oh, I'll try this out. And what's even more interesting about Walt Disney's story is that he had an original plan and idea and creation that did not take off, that did not do well. And then he, he tried again though. He, he, Gave it some more effort and then finally it took off. And little did he know that he wouldn't even live to see how big his dreams actually did take off. Because they surpassed his own lifespan. It created room for legacies and legacies and legacies. Branches of legacies within his name. So his, his future children and children's children and children's children and children's children are always going to be provided for and taken care of. Because of this one 
vision he had, this idea he had that could have went into the trash can, right? This one little idea, this one little doodle, this one little drawing of a character. Because he didn't give up even when his first idea failed. Hmm. He saw a vision that others couldn't see. When everyone else doubted him, right? They weren't for it. He saw a vision that others can see. Imagine you, right? You have this simple little idea. Well, I'm gonna create this cartoon. I'm just gonna create this little dude, this little comic. It's gonna be here. It's just gonna be in the newspaper, blah, blah, blah. I'm just creating something for you guys, right? This is not the exact story. And people are like, yeah, right. That'll never work out. It never works out that way. I've tried it and it didn't work out that way. I have experienced it. So-and-so has experienced it. It doesn't work that way. But their, what didn't work for them doesn't mean it won't work for you because you are chosen and you are qualified and you have God's grace. So we can't always go by other people's experiences. It's tricky because sometimes we want to know. We ask for someone else's help like, well, what would you do? Well, what did you do when you went through da 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 this, this, this? They could say to you, oh, don't do that. It's not going to work out. It didn't work out for me because when I experienced it, da, 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 but you are not them. You And they are not you. And you do not have the same path, the same soul blueprint, right? So what your angels are saying, be mindful of when sharing your dreams or your ideas or your goals or what you're trying to accomplish because... Some people will unknowingly and some knowingly will try to, what they share could be very, how do I say, conflicting with what you're, with what you can do and what you're going for, okay? So don't take it too personally. Don't take it to heart because just because it didn't work out for them doesn't mean it won't work out for you. And you have to know and you have to believe that there's a higher source that's capable of all things, okay? And you have to know that you come from that source. So just because it didn't work out for someone else does not mean it won't work out for you. You have to keep believing. You are the game changer. We have healing. Allow light to enter your wounds. So whatever it is that you guys have been experiencing any hardships, any battles, pain, isolation, sadness, whatever this is, health issues, whatever hardship you've been experiencing, your your spiritual team, your ancestors are coming through and they're saying, hey, we're right by your side. We're right by your side, but allow the light to hit you. A lot of you may feel called to spend time in nature to receive light code activations. You may feel called to really connect more with the sun and the moon. Okay, but we have the sun, moon, and the stars. And think about the two songs that I channeled for you guys. Well, not channeled, that I received for you guys earlier, okay? So, we have this purple door. It's kind of interesting. Purple is royalty and, and regal and um, the crown chakra. So, there's an infinite source of creation that's going to be given to you. And that's where the I am abundant comes in. Because... You're going to be ab abundant with ideas in, I just heard um, epiphanies and resolutions like, okay, I can do this. There's, uh, I just heard solutions. So you're going to, you're going to be receiving solutions to different things in your life. Like, okay, this is how I handle this. Got it. But your dream world, I don't know. I just heard dream works. Interesting. Some of you guys could be into film and you may feel called to watch something with, within dream arts or Disney, but it's time to connect with that inner child and dream again. It's time to dream so big that your dreams scare you because there's no way in hell that Walt Disney could have known and would have known that his legacy would still be this strong and that his name would be one of the biggest companies ever and that it would own other big companies and that there's, there's no sign of Disney, the brand, dying. <laughs> it will be long living and lasting it's the name itself the is bigger than the person who built it isn't that deep 
it has a life of its own. So you are being called to be the potter, to help to nurture, plant the seed that could end up being bigger than you, that could end up helping future generations and future ancestors. This simple dream that you have, this idea that you think is nothing, the thing that you keep putting off, you know, what this little thing that you're wanting that you may be thinking about giving up on, this thing, this goal, this idea, this, this, this dream, this goal, this wish that you have, this wish is bigger than you and it could end up helping others down the line. So you gotta, you gotta let yourself, you gotta let yourself at least try to go after this or to attain this goal. Your ancestors are going to help you if you ask them to, you have free will. So you have to ask the divine, ask the angels, ask your ancestors for your highest good only to be there with you every single day to help you, to go before you, to make their path clear and straight. You guys are breaking through generational curses. You guys have the keys. You guys have been chosen, the chosen ones. Very powerful, you guys. What blessings are coming to option two? Ooh. Look at that. Look at this. It looks like that. I don't know why. It's making me think of this. The eyes. The eyes are the windows to the soul. Hmm. There could be a divine meeting. I don't know why I'm hearing this. You guys could be end up meeting someone who's supposed to be along your path. They may help you with this. Anyways, intuition. Trust your intuition. It has been guiding you to the answers you seek. See, they're leading you to something. This makes me th think of like X marks the spot. Like you had Lost City of, of Z. Like it's like a treasure. Like you're, you're, you're book that she was an author in that she was healing from grief she was an author in that movie and you have book here interesting maybe there's some type of message hidden for you in a book if you feel called to go to a bookstore and randomly you pick up a book and randomly open it see what what message you know pops up for you but there could be something with writing or reading journaling the things you see they could end up being a story right think of like avatar wasn't that didn't that initially start off as a dream you never know disney's big here huh intuition trust your intuition it has been guiding you to the answers you see so when you think disney you think of dreams you think of vision you know visual arts um he planted one tiny seed and it ended up blooming into a tree. And then that tree ended up blooming into a, a garden. And the garden started blooming into, I mean, like this huge amount of land. Like, it, I mean, it, that one dream created so much. Okay? Something that's worldwide. Don't sleep on yourself and don't sleep on your dreams. Okay? blue flame connect to the blue flame which is a light of pure love within you so you guys might feel called to connect with the blue flame all right so you guys got some blessings here straight straight up and you guys have meditate there and you got meditation again take a moment to connect to source through quiet reflective meditation see that's that silence so D through quietness through your meditation and you guys sleep time because think about it that's the one thing all of this has in common is the quietness when you sleep and you dream there's silence so you guys need to create a you guys the tool is you need to create a sacred space a quiet environment a cozy relaxing environment for you to have um dreams and visions in your meditation so you need to feel comfortable you need to be relaxed you need to um, be connected. So silence, meditation, and dreams. Sleep. Just make sure you're getting enough sleep. Too. Okay, let's see what else I can get for you guys because it's been very powerful. Um, there's definitely, I, f I feel like maybe at least two people coming into your life. One could be a masculine energy. 
one could be a feminine energy um i am feeling that one could very well have something to do with um like maybe even like a friendship or ro a romance and the other i don't know what the other one is but it, we have like good energy coming through like a good omen or a good fortune coming to you guys in some kind of way so that's another blessing um, I'm going to get some cards from the Ascendant Masters because I did that for option one, but it was mainly because they received a message um, that they had an Ascendant Master helping them. Um, you guys, I, I just want to make sure you guys get some of the same cards they got. So let's see. Holy Spirit, what is option two's blessing? What do they need to know? Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva. Transcendence. Rise up. Honor your inner force. Steps are being given. Dance with the universe. So steps are being given to you. Like they're giving you the steps. And then this could be a meditation and sleep. You have epiphanies like breakthroughs coming through during this time frame. Okay. The color is brown. Ground, purple, and green. So when I see browns, it makes me think of the root chakra. When I see pur purple, that makes me think crown chakra. If you guys, if that's what's root... If that connects with you guys, if that's making sense, and it's the same chakras that option one had. So, kind of interesting. And look who you have at the bottom. This is very interesting now. You guys have the divine director. Intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. So, you guys have divine intervention coming through the divine director and talk about films and movies right and visual arts but you are the director of your life you know when people say that you are the director of your life it's true you have the right to edit cut you know add in anything you want and you guys need to start looking at it that way so if you're the director of your life and you need to start saying you know what this is what i do for a living this is what i see myself being and dressing and and you know spending time with people like this this is how i see myself living this is how i see my home this is how i see my 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 everyday life my everyday routine so they're saying visualize it bring it into bring it into existence by visualizing it imagine if you had the very thing you've been wanting how would you feel this is they want you to be in the energy as if it's already happened and then be in the gratitude as if it's already happened and it will happen asking you shall receive there's a card in this deck that says that and it's charity and it represents prayer so prayer is also important for you guys but the divine inter director is here and we're talking about divine intervention occurring so what there could be a matter in your life that the divine source and your ancestors are going to come through. Angels are going to come through and help in some type of way. Okay? With the divine director, that means you have divine assistance. That means that there's a bigger being coming into play to help or to shift something. Okay? So you guys have divine favor, fortune, um, and divine intervention. So sometimes I see divine intervention as um, miracles. So something is going to happen in your favor. Um, there's help from an unforeseen source didn't i say that earlier interesting oh my god <laughs> ma'at goddess ma'at right comedic so ancient egypt right so now we're thinking about justice right we're thinking about fairness which is interesting because of the time frame that i'm filming this but anyways um, fairness, weighing out the pros and cons, maybe decisions, you know, heart over mind decisions, mind over heart, what shall I do, weighing things out, right? Justice, fairness, legalities. But what's interesting is because we have the rules of ma'at, right? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you is what I just randomly heard, right? Um, and look at all this golden energy. Think about what I shared with you guys earlier. Weigh up your your options choose the highest good weigh up your options choose the highest good divine intervention you guys have two cards that talk about divine intervention here divine intervention is happening in your life you guys are it's the divine is stepping in and helping in some type of way in your life so start saying thank you 
okay? Because this is powerful. When you have this come out twice, divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Weigh up your options. Choose the highest good. Divine intervention. Very powerful. Very powerful. And at the bottom of the deck, you have even another one that's powerful. Look at the gold in the, in the purple blue. So gold, purple, blue, gold, purple, blue. So that would be your crown chakra. Your, you guys, you, visions and clear audience, clear, oh, clear audience. Whoa, I didn't even mean to say that. Uh-oh. Okay, now I'm channeling. So you have clear, clear station, clairvoyant, and clear audience. That's coming through really strongly for you guys. Your crown chakra is going to be activated. Your third eye chakra is going to be activated. I'm hearing they're also working on your root chakra. I'm um, also your solar plexus chakra is going to come into hand very soon because they're going to have you act on some of the things that you've been afraid to act on. Now I'm hearing these very things are going to be things that are, I don't know how to, I keep saying things. This very, situ, the, the very things that they have you act on are going to be situations that are going to move you towards your dreams. So when you start to say, well, why do I have to do this? Or why did this happen? Why I'm hearing trust and divine detours. It's happening so you can be move. I'm hearing closer to my dreams by what is her name? Gu Guapale. Closer to my dreams. I'm getting high. Closer to my dreams. They're moving you closer to your dreams. So yeah, it might be like, damn, why did this happen? Why did, oh, gee, now I have to do this or now I don't know what to do. Oh my God, help me. It's happening for a reason. It's going to be pushing you closer to your dreams. It's a breakthrough. So divine protection. Look, you have all this divine energy, divine intervention, divine intervention, divine protection, breakthrough moment. So you have a spiritual calling here, you guys. You have a purpose. You have a calling that's calling you. This is big, you guys. This is a part of your purpose that's calling you. And I'm just, I'm hearing everything is going according to plans. So everything's going as planned. Steps are being given to you. So follow your spiritual calling. Steps are being given to you. You have Archangel Michael here as your protector. And you have faith here. This is very powerful. Faith is here. So you need to have faith. And Archangel Michael is here for protection. So anything that you guys may be needing help with you need to call an archangel michael and faith to help you to protect you or protect whatever your dreams and your goals are to protect you while you're dreaming to guide you while you're dreaming as well as to protect your home your car your foundation so this is very powerful this these are that's who's connecting with you in meditation you have a lot of strong beings trying to help you guys divine intervention within this like this is powerful the divine is coming through saying that you were chosen. So no matter what obstacle comes up, as long as you do your healing work, you do your part, we're going to meet you halfway. Just simply follow your intuition. Your intuition, intuition is stronger the more you use it. The more you meditate, your meditation practice gets stronger. The more you try to recall your dreams and you write them down, you're going to be great at doing that. So practice makes perfect. Stay consistent, you guys. That's the key for you guys is staying consistent. Very powerful. Um, I forgot to get one more card for you. I didn't get a card um, from this deck for option one, but for some reason they're saying there's a message for you. So option two, what is their message? Holy Spirit, boom. There you go. That's why they want to say this. Your ancestors. Connect with your ancestors and your angels, Archangel Michael here. You are never alone. That's what they wanted me to know. You have more than enough. You are more than enough. You are a walking miracle. And you are never alone. <laughs> All right. Lead by example. Be the change, right? Be the game changer. Be that person who said, yeah, everybody said I couldn't. Everybody said they didn't see a way. But it wasn't about what they couldn't see. It was about my faith and what I believed in and my connection to God's source. And God made a way for me. I'm here. You're going to have a testimony. You're going to share it with others. What other people doubted, you were able to do. And you may not know how to how it happened. No one may know. Not no, How do I say this? No one may know how it happened. But it happened for you because it was supposed to happen that way. All right. So, 888. I am abundant. 
as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. So you guys need to be looking at everything that's working out for you now and be grateful for it because, honey, it's about to get good. That's what I have for you guys. Let me know how it resonates. I'm sending you love.